Hey guys, it's me Astrid, and today let's talk together about orchid mistakes. Um, recently, Holy City Orchids, aka Brittany, made a video about losing her Vanda orchid. And she bought this little seedling, it had some bacterial infection or something, and it died on her and she was so sad. The flowers were really, really pretty, Brittany. I feel so sad that you lost that one. But she also said that we as orchid growers have a tendency not to discuss our failures, even though we all know we lose orchids pretty regularly, I would say, is, is a reasonable statement to make. So I thought I would keep with the idea of her video and make a video of my own orchid mistakes. So this way we can discuss what we did wrong, why it was wrong, what plants we should and shouldn't buy for our growing environment and so on. If we don't discuss our mistakes, we just think that everyone like is this perfect orchid grower and we're this shameful loser who messes up growing our own plants and we suck and we're horrible. But everyone loses orchids, and I'm just going to put my mistakes out there to add to the fact that you are not alone if you kill one of your orchids. Even if you're pretty good at growing orchids, you're not alone if you mess up and lose one. It's so normal, and it's so okay to do. Let's get into this. So first and worst is the Dendrobium Spectaboli that I bought. Um, I got this at the orchid show in February. And I have succeeded probably in totally killing it since I got it. It is not totally dead, but orchids are slow growers, slow bloomers, and slow dyers. They just take forever to do anything. Now the problem with this orchid is the first thing is that when I repotted it, I broke off all the new growths. There was one here and it's shriveled and dead. There's one here and it's shriveled and dead. There was one here, and it's shriveled and dead. I broke all three of those off when I was repotting, like an idiot. I broke all three of them off, and I felt so stupid. And then this last new growth was the biggest one, and it was growing up tall. Oops. And I was like, "Hey, this is gonna, this is gonna be the one. It's gonna, it's gonna work for me." And you know what happened? It shriveled up and died inexplicably, like a week later. What the hell? I don't know. So I killed all the new growths on this plant, and I chopped off all the old, messed up, chopped off back bulbs that were totally dried up, and I really traumatized the plant. Also, this plant kind of wants hotter temperatures and higher humidity than I can provide in my environment. So I bought a plant because it was cool looking, that I really wanted only for how it looks, not because I could grow it well in my environment. I broke off all the new growths, and this plant probably would do better in a warmer climate than I can give it. I just can't give it the temps that it wants. And for that, I will probably lose the plant eventually. It's just going to slowly die and be really sad. And like, if I wiggle this, anytime I lift it up, like fungus gnats come off it. Like this whole potting mix that is clean when I started with it somehow got infested with fungus gnats, and this is the worst one. So. Maybe that means it's rotting inside. I don't know. I'm just embarrassed and I feel stupid for my mistake. So this is the worst one. This is really, I feel bad about it. Okay, so the next two are lesser degrees, but still problematic. Now this, this orchid was my Oncidium, like a twinkle that I had. Ow. Um, ouch. Sorry, for some reason, like, my toes will suddenly hurt for no reason, and it, like, feels like I stepped on something, but I didn't. So, anyways, anyways, this orchid was my Oncidium Twinkle, um, or like a Twinkle, that I got a few months ago. I think I got it, um, in November, and I'm pretty sure when I got it, it had a few healthy roots on it, but I succeeded in killing them all, and not only did I succeed and killing all the roots, when I took it out of its pot to see what was wrong with it the other day, I broke these two growths apart. On accident, they just snapped apart, so now these plants are even weaker because they're smaller divisions now, and they only have one new growth apiece, and all the roots were completely, completely dead, brittle, mushy, awful, and it's just a mess. So now I have these guys sitting on some wet sphagnum moss, and I'm hoping that these new growths will start to put down some roots. 
so I can pot these together and grow it. But otherwise, if they decide like, hey, no, I'm not going to put any new roots down, then I'm just going to have a dead plant that I really liked. And, and that really sucks. I have a lot of finer rooted Oncidium type orchids whose roots I've totally killed. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I got it from a big box store and they don't always have the best conditions of their plants for a home grower or if I got it a while back and I didn't know what I was doing when I repotted it or what, but something is amiss. And here's my last failure um, and the least severe because I think this will be okay. When I got this orchid, it was already in kind of bad shape. The one that I bought with it, I bought two Nelly Eilers. This is a Nelly Eiler. And uh, the first one died of a bacterial infection, which I blamed on myself, but was not my fault. It was that orange rotting condition, and I'm pretty sure that's the same one that Brittany lost her Vanda to. And that's not your fault when that happens. It just comes like that, and it'll die in a few days or a few weeks, and there's nothing you can do. Now, this one, for whatever reason, its roots were all bad. And then it grew these growths out in the accordion pattern. So I took it out and I repotted it in sphagnum moss that keeps wet. And now the accordion growth has stopped on this growth. But this growth, which I accidentally broke off from this one and was already loose anyway, put out its own new baby growth. And this is totally accordioned. And when I was pulling it to look at it and flatten out the accordion growth, I broke off a bunch of the leaves like an idiot. However, this is growing some new roots. I think this will recover within a year. It'll be fine, but these are my mistakes. These are the things I've done wrong. So in the comment section, if you want to share a sad story about how you lost an orchid because of your fault or no fault of your own, please feel free to share. If you share, we can add to our collective orchid growing knowledge and become better growers. So if you need to vent your sadness or vent your frustration with yourself because you did something dumb like buying an orchid plant that's not probably suited to your growing conditions and trying to grow it anyway, let me know. Share. Let's become better growers together, friends. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you don't screw up your orchids too bad this month, this year, anytime in the future. But if it happens, I'm right there with you. Take care. Happy growing. Bye.